Foto? Ja. Hey, do. We have both. We have the harvested uh, PRP and we have the hyaluronic acid. Uh, as we don't have an existing joint space anymore, we will do a combination. So this will hopefully contribute to give more fluid to the joint space. Uh, this will be an additional fluid, but it will be with the anti-inflammatory effects of the PRP uh, and will be uh, together with the stem cells. There, is, um, there are many different forms of hyaluronic acid and uh, some are so uh, tightly connected uh, you only can inject with a big needle uh, and you can't aspirate even with a small needle. So we we palpate after having sterilized everything for the lower rim of the iliac crest and for the prohanter uh, and the direction um, would be either from this side but if you as we have seen in the um, CT uh, and the x-ray before there is almost no existing joint space anymore so in these cases it's usually easier to go uh, from caudal to cranial in this direction space anymore left I mean this is the, the proper angle to enter so we uh, first do a little bit of superficial anesthesia take a few small peaks okay. and we have uh, uh, do we have ozone please yeah sure no yeah please get yeah, like 10 cc ozone yes so we wait for a while in which we will insert the PRP and the hyaluronic acid. Do you feel anything? No. You fell asleep already. You have the yeah, so Do you have a slightly longer needle for the anesthesia? This is combination of the hyaluronic acid uh, and the PRP. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, okay. This is the size. Oh, this, uh, uh, this is the this is one and a half. Dr. Weber, would you please uh, describe that? What are you doing? What is this patient suffering from? <clears throat> uh, this patient is suffering from degree three to four uh, coxarthrosis um, so we sterilized everything prepared prp um, combined it with hyaluronic acid um, checked for the landmarks for the trough hunter uh, and for the lower rim of the uh, iliac crest we already started with local anesthesia we infiltrated do you feel anything no Here is a um, uh, European American laser clinic in Amara, Dubai. If you need more information, you can make a contact. This is a method that is combination of PRP, stem cell, ozone therapy, and intraarticular laser. 
And this is the most advanced early technology that's available to treat uh, degenerative changes in the joint. Yeah. But giving the best outcome uh, based on the present uh, science that we are practicing. Dr. Hakim, would you please tell that what is the first step? The first step would be definitely as uh, Dr. Weber doing is like localizing the area uh, after sterilization the region. Then uh, we'll go ahead and inject uh, PRP after preparation for the blood along with the hyaluronic acid. Uh, you know, we mix them together. Then we're going to inject it into the joint uh, in a guided way. Then we'll add a, an ozone along with that. And that really would also help activate the, uh, the, the stem cell and also a strong anti-inflammatory. After that, we apply the intraarticular uh, laser in the joint uh, with the same application. Thank you. And uh, the procedure takes about probably 20 minutes, less or minus. Thank you. It tends to be quite safe for procedure. And uh, if the proper percussion done, uh, the procedure is very safe, you know, very minimal uh, complication and really very not invasive. Under uh, the guidance of the C-arm, uh, we will detect the precise localization of the joint space so that we can inject the combination of the pre-prepared uh, hyaluronic acid and the PRP precisely in the affected region uh, of the um, rib of the acetabulum. For the injection of everything, we have special um, 8 cm, 6 cm, 12 cm needles by which we can apply the hyaluronic acid, the PRP, the ozone um, and later on uh, the optic fiber. Everything is of course 100% under sterile conditions. This is preset so we be sure that the tip of the optic fiber uh, just comes out of uh, the needle. So, now take a deep breath. Okay, the patient uh, feeling uh, nothing at this time. He's well exercised and he's fairly comfortable and relaxing. And this is all uh, done under the CRM guided for precise uh, localization and injection where it needs to be done. I can take this away. Mm -hmm. Perfect. By lure adapter, this fits perfectly to our insertion needle. Are you okay, sir? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now you feel some local pressure. Yes, yeah, it's, it's almost done already. And the precise localization using a C arm is really important. Or you can use ultrasound as well. Both are it'd be very helpful to localize the site of injection for safety and precise localization where the pathology is. So now we need the ozone. We've done the first part. Give us the ozone, please. So, PRP as well as the hyaluronic acid is yes. in. We lure lock again. And now inflame the ozone. Okay. Okay, finished. Now only the optic fiber. Uh, ozone really is a very strong anti-inflammatory and it's great to add it up to this. Uh, to the, uh, the uh, PRP and we call it prozone. Yes, it is. We would inject it half, you know. Uh, we inject about uh, 10 cc to 3 area. 
We inject about five, four, five uh, cc usually. Okay, go ahead, please. No so, connect, so please. So now uh, we save the inject insertion needle um, and. connect uh, the optic fiber to the Moonlight Starlight device and then we can start uh, to irradiate inserted the hyaluronic acid together with the PRP and an additional shot of um, ozone uh, we inserted the single-use optic fiber and irradiate with blue light. Blue light will have a significant anti-inflammatory effect in the inflamed region. In any arthrosis, you will have arthritis in addition. Uh, so we have hyaluronic acid anti-inflammatory, we have um, the PRP anti-inflammatory and we have the blue light with the anti-inflammatory capacities. Therefore, under the sonography guide or CT arm, you can insert into the joint, inject PRP and hyaluronic acid in combination with ozone and then you will use intraarticular laser. Which wavelength do you use? Um, there are different wavelengths for irradiation of the tissue continue with the irradiation of red light. Hip arthrosis, Dr. Weber, combination so, of... So, why do you use different colors in this case of hip arthrosis, um, cox arthrosis, advanced stage. The blue light will enhance the circulation and will have anti-inflammatory effect, but gives limited local irradiation and as you see, spreads perfectly through all the tissue. Red and infrared gives the best flow of photons in the irradiated area and we now can be sure that the acetabulum and the upper part of the upper leg will be irradiated with a sufficient amount of photons. These photons will induce a huge variety of repair mechanisms. They will activate the chondroblasts. So on the MRI we did see there are no, is no cartilage left. We are pretty sure, convinced, that we will induce the rebuilding of cartilage. We will induce the rebuilding, the inborn building of hyaluronic acid. We will enhance, we will booster by this, the local ATP production and induce, induce self-healing processes in multiple ways. As you see, the green light irradiation doesn't give a good local effect like a red or infrared. We don't see anything through the skin. But green light is of uttermost importance to enhance the uptake of oxygen. And now for the repair mechanisms for the ATP production, we need a better supply of oxygen. Therefore, it's a good decision to combine as well. Okay.